Now, there was a lady 20 years ago when Nelson Mandela celebrated his 70th birthday at Wembley Stadium. Now, that night, this world-class woman was on stage with a band called the Eurythmics. Now, since then, she has become one of the most aggressive, one of the most hardworking ambassadors of Nelson Mandela's 46664 Foundation. Ladies and gentlemen, Annie today to celebrate the birthday of one of the greatest human beings this planet has ever seen. Mr. Mandela, we hope that this wonderful event will help to seal your legacy for many, many years to come. Everyone at the 46664 campaign understands how important the issue of the HIV AIDS pandemic is to you. And I, for one, give you my commitment to carry on working to spread the message to the whole world that we must do something to prevent a virtual genocide upon your people. I'd like to share with you all the photograph of a seven-year-old girl called Abby Lile. Here. Her mother died of AIDS, and she was born HIV positive. She was brought to hospital weighing less than a one-year-old baby, on the verge of death, suffering from pneumonia and full-blown AIDS. It's shocking to see a little girl in this condition. Now, look at this child. She is the same little girl five months later after she received proper nutrition, medication, and loving care. Don't you think that every child should have the right to life like this. In the continent of Africa and in the country of South Africa, there are millions of children just like Avalile. Millions. They deserve to have a future and we can try to make sure that they do. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd love to introduce to you some beautiful children who would like to share this message with you today. Put your hands together for the Agape Choir! 